Hey homies, welcome back to Out of the Vault, the weekly series where I make something new with some old stuff. This week I pulled out this Crafter's Companion Clear Stamp Set. Um, I got this at Tuesday morning last year or the year before. I didn't, I didn't label it, so. Um, we're going to make a, just a nice sweet card with this. We're going to do some watercolor. So I've got a piece of Nina Solar White. I'm going to stamp these smaller flowers all over and make a background just with gray ink and very light wash of color. And then the larger image, we're going to stamp a nice big focal point. Let's get started. I'm going to trim this down in the end with a waffle flower die because I always like that kind of beveled edge that you get from a die cut. Now again, just a very, very light wash of color. I want this to be a very soft, kind of muted background. And I'm not too concerned about staying inside the lines either. It's gonna be kind of a messy background here. Our stamp off. Now the focal point image I am going to take a little more time with because I want it to be really pretty. All right, let's pick it up and I'm going to stamp on some Ranger Tim Holtz watercolor paper with jet black archival ink. I think I'm going to paint these mums orange. So let's start with our stems and stuff. I'm gonna add a little yellow in first. This is of course Hansa Yellow Light, which is my favorite yellow in the watercolor. Have some leaves over here. Buds over here. And I'm going to go into the flower also with some yellow. And this is going to be an orange flower, but want a little little differentiation in color so let's add some yellow kind of as a base coat base color need some yellow in these flower centers here Now keep in mind, as watercolor dries, it lightens. So this yellow is not going to be nearly as intense once it dries. All right, so now I'm going with some full strength under sea green. some water. So see our stems aren't just one color because you know really if you look in nature nothing is just one color. There's variation in everything.
pretty happy with that. Now let's go into our mom. Some very diluted orange. Start painting some petals here. And mix a little of the yellow with the orange here, a different tone. All right, I'm pretty happy with these mums. <laughs> Very happy. Now I'm going to dry this and then we can move on to the smaller flowers. And I'm just going to use a little buff titanium just so they're not white, white, white. To give them a little, little detail. And then I think I'm going to throw just a tiny little bit of pink in there. So just drop it in where it's still wet. And then it all kind of blends out. clean wet brush and do it where you want it and then we've got this little bud here I'm gonna paint it pink and there's another another one of those small flowers up here and get some buff titanium on it and throw in a little pink And then these spriggy things, I'm not sure what they are. So I'm going to paint them brown and green and just pretend they're foliage because I'm not really sure 
know what they are. So I'm going to do a little bit of brown. Do the same thing on the one on the other side. And then I'm going to go into that with some green. All right, this is pretty dry, and I think I want to go in and ink a little bit around it. And I'm going to use some vintage photo. Just kind of going around it a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna cover most of this flour and throw a little water at that distress ink. Okay, so I have a slight change of plans here. <laughs> Instead of using this background I made on this card, I think I want this entire card front to just be this. So I'm gonna get the uh, bare glue and get this glued down. Always remember, wet glue for watercolor paper. Okay, let's get this on the front of this card and then I'll weigh it down to dry. And I will see you in a little while. Okay, so this is completely dry. Look how that turned out. <gasps> it's so pretty. I'm gonna stay up inside. We're gonna use You Are Amazing with one of the flowers. And I'm just gonna use some Jet Black Archival, cause you know, that's what I do. And I think this will be a nice card to send to somebody. Now to finish the front of this off, I'm gonna add some stickles. I've got Sundance and Copper. Let's get Sundance going. All right. Do a little Sundance in that center. I'm just going to move it around with toothpick. The lovely thing about stickles is it's self leveling. So can look kind of a hot mess, but when it dries, it's all leveled out. It's lovely. Then we're going to use copper to highlight some of the petals on these mums. I, listen, I'm really proud of the way these mums turned out. I am a happy camper. Oh, come on, copper. There we go. Now I'm going to pick up a little with my toothpick. That way I can kind of control it. So as I'm finishing this, today is May the 4th. So all you Star Wars people, may the 4th be with you. And tomorrow, the Cinco de Mayo or Revenge of the Fifth. 
Oh, so my car, I drive a, uh, a, a Lincoln Nautilus. My husband works for Ford, so we get a nice little discount. And, you know, I say, I, I say you have to call me Captain Nemo because I drive the Nautilus. Well, Lincoln is releasing it in hybrid for 2024. And guess when my lease is up? <laughs> Middle of 2024. So we're considering it. We're, you know, I've been harassing my salesman. When's your demo coming? When's your demo coming? Well, we recently got uh, Walt Disney World passes because I'm starting a, um, by the way, I'm starting another channel about going to the theme parks here in Central Florida solo you know because most of us go as couples or with family or whatever um and i go a lot by myself so i'm going to start a channel all about that in june it's going to go live in june so i say we, we're pirates now because we have the pirate pass i looked at him the other night and i said well well now that i say yeah everybody has to call us pirates if we buy, if we get the hybrid Nautilus, because that lights up like a spaceship inside, dude, you should go watch the video. That dash is cool. I said, does that make us space pirates? <laughs> he just looked at me <laughs> and he was like, I can't, I can't with you today. <laughs> And I don't know why it was so funny to me, but it was. <laughs> oh, I cracked up. Three days later, I'm still cracking up. And I don't even know if we're going to get it. Because, you know, you got to drive it and see if it's got enough oomph and all that. But we did have a hybrid Lincoln before the Nautilus. And, I mean, it had enough oomph for me. I was happy. So, all right. I think that's probably enough, isn't it? I gotta watch myself because I overstickle as much as I over sequin. It's a problem. Let me put some of these over there. I think I'm gonna take the edge of the card and just run this vintage photo over the edge darken up the edges a little bit. Here's my completed card project for this week's Out of the Vault. The old item we used was a stamp set from Crafter's Companion. It's called Love Blossoms. Really pretty stamp. This is lovely. <laughs> I was so happy with the way this turned out. Um, in the background I did, if you remember, I didn't like it with this image, but here's the card I made with the background. Look at that. Didn't that turn out cute? So this is the background. I used the three smaller flowers with gray ink and did a watercolor. And then this guy is from Stampendous. I've had him forever. And the sentiment is actually from Viva Las Vegas Stamps. So this is what I ended up doing with that background. So I stamped with Jet Black Archival, did some watercolor, and then inked the entire background with Vintage Photo Distress, did the water glued it on the card. I let it dry under some heavy books overnight and then came in with some stickles, ink the edge, and then you're amazing on the inside. Voila. That turned out so pretty. This feels very vintage to me. I just love it. Y'all have a lovely day. Remember, be excellent to each other and go stamp something. Bye-bye.